Caddis Maximus here again, this time with a review and comparison of the Harbor Freight Quinn Premium Screwdriver Set that they recently came out with for $25 on the shelf, but you can use the 20% off coupon. And the Pittsburgh Professional 8P Screwdriver Set. I had earlier had reviewed just one of the slot heads and one of the Phillips, these two standard length ones, because they sold those individually, but they have this 8P set up on the shelf for $10. Where the Quinn is indeed a 15-piece set, so they are quite a bit more expensive. And something I'll mention is Harbor Freight has an obscene amount of screwdrivers right now, and they need to deal with it because it's a really cheap, big set. They have like two or three different comfort grip-labeled ones. They have heavy-duty screwdrivers. They have electrical screwdrivers. They have bolstered screwdrivers. They have these Quinns. They have the Pittsburgh Professionals. I mean, seriously, there's like 15, 20 different sets of screwdrivers at Harbor Freight right now, and they probably don't quite need that many. Really is quite insane. These would be the best ones on the shelf, except for the bolstered ones are pretty nice too, just because they have a hex shank on the back, and eventually I'll get some to review. But in this review, we're going to be comparing what are the best ones. The Quinn's being yeah, roughly 75% uh, more per quote-unquote screwdriver. If you're getting eight screwdrivers for 10 bucks, it's $1.25 per screwdriver here. 15 screwdrivers for $25. The Quins are running uh, without a coupon about uh, $1.65 a piece. Just to put that in uh, perspective. They both have lifetime warranties and both advertise chrome vanadium shanks. They actually have it printed on these, and I'll show that in a minute. I don't know if they're stamped on these. I couldn't see through the packaging, but on the back here, they do show these as having chrome vanadium steel. And to give you an idea of everything this set comes with, there's a nice little list of what that set comes with. This one is pretty blank on the back. Let me take my uh, special driver here. I'll open these up and then I'll pause the video just to go ahead and sort these things out. But I always kind of like using this thing, especially with this kind of packaging. because it's a lot easier to deal with. Just like that, we can just zip off all the sides of the package. You can hear how tough this is. This tool is bogging down. Come on. There's one package. Let's get this junk out of the way. Let's do the other package just for fun to see this tool work. I always like using this thing. I think I just said that. Come on. Wow, that Quinn packaging is actually thicker than the Pittsburgh Professional packaging, but it is a much heavier set, so uh, at least they're thinking about that. Wow, it really is kind of struggling to cut through this packaging here. That is surprising. There we go. Give me a second here and I'll organize these out on the table. Yes, I know. I have way too many screwdrivers, but as the same way with subscribers, the more the merrier. Okay, we're back. And uh, that wasn't the end of the story. The Quinn packaging has so many of these little plastic bolsters that help keep the middle of it from separating that even after cutting off all the sides like this, you still have to just rip and shred into this. This is... This is an example of the frustrating bulletproof packaging. Uh, it was surprising. You have to not only cut off all the edges, you would have to Swiss cheese this with a knife in order to have the screwdrivers drop out. Otherwise, you're stuck ripping and pulling. The reason that's an issue is this plastic here is thick. When it tears or when you cut it, it is sharp and it will cut you. And having the reach and tear packaging like this and put in a bunch of effort risks the consumer actually getting cut by the plastic packaging. That's why I say, you know, find some other way to package them without having these blister packs that are made out of, you know, this bulletproof material. We will start off with saying that the Harbor Freight Professionals uh, were pretty dry, and I was noticing that because when I was pulling out these quins, they're actually quite oily. At least the metal shanks are. The other thing I'll mention that is obvious is that in the Pittsburgh Professionals, it's red for flathead, blue for... Uh, Phillips. On the Quinns, they're all the same color. I'm not exactly sure why they didn't 
have a different color for the flatheads and at least follow their own standards and what is kind of apparently becoming an industry standard just to make it easier to grab slawhead or Phillips screwdrivers when they're all sitting in a toolbox. So uh, I will take points off Quinn for not making any kind of obvious distinction whether or not it's a flathead or a Phillips besides just having the tail markers right here where it's a minus or of course a plus for Phillips just like so. Another note I'll mention about the Pittsburgh Professional 8-piece set is it's actually not a complete set. It's the biggest set they have, but it, they actually have 10 screwdrivers. So uh, quite a few videos, probably 100 videos ago, a couple of months, three months, who God knows how long, uh, I had done a review of these. These are my review of the two Pittsburgh Professional and number two Phillips and then the standard quarter-inch flathead. And this is a quarter-inch by four-inch long shank, and this is a number two Phillips by four inches long. What that eight-piece set came with is a number two Phillips by five inches long and a number one Phillips by four inches. It didn't have this screwdriver, so you'd still need to buy these two separately. Uh, and they're at the bottom of the shelf in bins. These separately binned screwdrivers actually have the full Pittsburgh Professional set, which is indeed a ten-piece set. Points off again for Harbor Freight. Why not actually have the Pittsburgh Professional set include all the Pittsburgh screwdrivers like the Quinn set has. And it is indeed the same way for the flathead. It comes with a large 5 16 by 6 inch and then a quarter inch by 5 inch where the individually binned unit is a quarter inch by 4 inch. Now what I mean by chrome vanadium is at least on the Pittsburgh professionals they you know they put in a little extra effort to stamp chrome vanadium you know on all these. We'll take this big one here. And we can see that says chrome vanadium. And even if we get down to these small ones, whoops, see that? They didn't print anything on this one. Yet on the little flathead, they did print CRV on it. If we look at the Quinn's, you know, on the packaging it said chrome vanadium, but they did not stamp anything on them. They saved the money there. So there's some weird inconsistencies in manufacturing. That's the easiest way to say it. So a lot of this will be about ergonomics, and then we'll get into how well the screwdriver tips work. Uh, with the Quinns, just like I had reviewed that bottle opener, the Quinns have a nice uh, TPU rubber overmolding, I'm sure, which is over a, either an acetate or a nylon handle. And the rubber overmolding is also what provides the black kind of background over the indication on the back. Of course, both of these have uh, screw holes through them, although they are a bit elongated and a little narrower on the Pittsburgh Professionals where they're this kind of hex. So they're a larger diameter hole, but not as tall. Realistically, this more elongated hole would probably be easier to put on and off of hooks if you, you know, one of those people who just have screwdrivers hanging rather than this hole, just because this has to be put on the peg relatively straight so it doesn't kind of bind up, where this having an elongated hole makes it a little bit easier. Oop, and the last thing about the ergonomics is they have this kind of faux diamond plate texture. And it's actually raised up pretty well. It's pretty decent. A lot of people have noticed, and I have as well, and mentioned in other reviews, that like the screwdrivers that have more of a, a sided, like a four-sided or a three-lobe, just because when your hands are kind of slick and greasy, the bigger lobes make it easier to grab. And so these quins are slightly ovalized, so they help a little bit, but... They're still pretty round, and I think this texturing will help, but if you have greasy hands using these with auto mechanics or many types of work that you could use a screwdriver with, eh, they may be just to get a little bit slick, and you may find yourself kind of struggling to get onto that oval to twist them. That is one caveat over the Pittsburgh Professionals, which actually have two different over moldings on them. It appears to be an acetate or a uh, nylon handle. But we have the black overmolding down here on the lower part. And then we have two sections of gray overmolding, which feels just a little bit softer than the black overmolding. And I'm not sure this black usually is TPU. I'm not exactly sure what the gray is. It may be the very same material or it may be something different. I can say that if I'm rubbing around on this part and then hit the gray part, I do feel more traction on my fingers. Just You can just feel it going across the two different materials. And there is these bumps here aren't very uh, deep. But 
it does give you additional traction. Although these screwdrivers are pretty round, so there's not a lot of grip area. Although I do kind of like these little uh, uh, recesses they have for your fingers. Two of them have bumps in them. I'm not exactly sure why. Although I find that aspect interesting. And I am noticing that when I look at all these flatheads in relation to these bumps right here, we can see that the bump side is all aligned with the flat of the blade. Come on, camera. Like that. And here on this one, same way, the bump is aligned with the flat of the blade. So at least on the flathead screwdrivers, the bump has a meaning. It lets you know that the alignment of the screwdriver, whether the blade is horizontal in your hand or if it's on the smooth part, it'll let you know that the blade is vertical. So that's kind of an interesting <laughs> aspect. And I'm noticing that the Quinns, at least Harbor Freight, did put in an effort because the handle is the same way on the Quinns. The oval or the wider, flatter side and then these this uh, little textured area with the three little arrow things is indeed aligned with the flathead on all these. We'll also notice that the flatheads do not have serrations. I really do like serrations on flatheads. They do make them last a lot longer. We can see they have some kind of, you know, this is like a painted kind of heat treatment. They do advertise the Quinns as being magnetic and I can tell that they are magnetic. There we go. It's not highly magnetized, but they are indeed magnetized. I'm not so sure these are not. So the Pittsburgh professionals, and sometimes you don't like magnetized screwdrivers because they're, sometimes you just don't want the fastener to stick to them. Especially if you're like working in a situation where you're trying to loosen a fastener, but leave it where it's at. Magnetic screwdrivers are always kind of, it, the fastener is getting stuck to them. You got to pull it off and put it back in whatever hole it came from. So sometimes can be a little annoying. And it's kind of nice to have a choice between magnetic Oh, there's a little magnetism here with these, but not with the flatheads. Interesting. Well, this one's magnetic. <laughs> I don't know what to make of it. Let's see if... Huh, that's odd. It appears on the Pittsburgh Professionals that all of the Phillips are magnetized. Yet none of the slothead ones are magnetized. That's kind of odd. Where on the Quinn's... Are all, are all the flatheads are magnetized, and then the Phillips. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, is it the backwards? Yeah, it's backwards. We even got some little screws here. Oh, it's kinda really lightly magnetized. Not like this one where it's really pretty strong. Huh, that's kinda odd. The Phillips are magnetized on the Quinns, just not as strongly as the magnetization on, um, because we can pick up multiple screwdrivers with the Pittsburgh Pros, huh? Very odd. We can see some inconsistencies with the level of magnetization, whether or not it really is there on these screwdrivers. Now, as far as the tip shapes are concerned, uh, we'll take a look. This is the larger, the six inch Phillips number two, and we'll take a look at the five inch Phillips number two from the Pittsburgh Professional. We'll take a look. They do do the square shank, which gives a little bit more material uh, on the Quinn. So I'll have to say that they are a little bit stronger in that regards. And I'll even zoom in. I don't know if these, if either of these tip shapes are Jap would be considered Japanese industrial standard, but they tend to have a little bit straighter walls and offer better grab. It appears that the Quinn here with the square has a little bit more tapered of a shape than the Pittsburgh Professionals. Now, if we take a look at how they fit into a variety of little fasteners, number two fasteners. And I guess this is why I was kind of wanted to see is somebody, if they're going to show a screwdriver video, might as well show if we can get this in the light and focused. It doesn't fit quite fully in there, but it's not too bad. We have another one here, and this screw is more designed for this tip shape. And it's really on there well, really holding, it's really stable. We can see that the screw doesn't want to wobble around, which is real surprising. That really indicates how well matched the shape of the Phillips bit it is to the actual screw that you're driving. Here's another little random screw. Same deal, it, this Pittsburgh Pro really fits in there nicely. As far as the Quinns, we'll do the same deal here. And they have a little bit sharper, sharper of a cutout. And they're not too bad, but there is just a bit more wobble on this screw. Although it did hold in nicely. Let's try this one. 
if we can get this to focus. Yeah, it's just not quite holding as tight, which means that the tip of the screwdriver is bottoming out and the bottom of the screw. Um, when really a well, a good gripping screwdriver, these sides are what's going to be getting kind of, are going to wedge themselves into the little slots in the plus, And that's what gives you extra traction. And this screw is actually really loose on it. So I'm not super fond of the Quinns as far as their tip shape is concerned. They're pretty good, but I actually think that the Pittsburgh Pros here have a better tip shape than uh, the Quinns. They just seem to hold in just a little bit tighter. They really do. Even this little stubby one here, we can see that the screw barely wobbles around at all when we have it on the screwdriver. And that's really what makes the difference on Phillips. To tell you the truth, I think they're both pretty good sets. Although, the, honestly, now that I've kind of re reviewed these, you know, I got a gift card for Christmas, so <laughs> went and got these things. And I'm kind of glad I did, because ultimately I would be happier with these Pittsburgh Professionals than I would with the Quinns, just on how the usability, at least as far as the Phillips is concerned. The big difference is, is that we have all 10 of the Pittsburgh Pros that they make. So the Quinns do give you a lot of these thicker, larger screwdrivers, which are great for pry bars. It's something you're not getting out of the Pittsburgh Professional. You're also getting a number three Phillips out of the Quinn, which apparently is not available in the Pittsburgh Professional, which is used pretty often. You, know, you oftentimes have big Phillips like this, and you really want a number three. And number threes hold much better. This one, number three, is also strongly magnetized. And it is fitting in these fasteners much better. We can see that very little wobble, although there is a little bit in there. And on this other number three Phillips fastener, it's pretty good. It's a definitely a pretty good fit. So the number three Phillips fits a little better than it appears the number one Phillips. You do get other things such as this long eight inch number two Phillips. Number uh, long screwdrivers, especially Phillips, when you need them, you really need them. And so it's nice to have. This set also comes with the little tiny screwdrivers, the little tiny flathead and the little tiny Phillips. What I think is odd is the flathead's like, you know, 25% longer than the little Phillips. And that seems just a little bit weird. Why not at least have them be, be similar sized? Although on the Pittsburgh Pro kit, they've done the same thing. They gave you a, their small slot head is quite a bit longer than their small Phillips. So I think that's a little bit inconsistent, you know, at least, you know, make it more symmetrical. And maybe that's just a pet peeve. So I think I'll sum up the review is that, and the comparison is that, is that the Quinn is a more comprehensive set, especially including large Phillips and flatheads, as well as a nice long Phillips, and a couple of smaller screwdrivers, and they're pretty well made. They're $25. This Harbor Freight set, especially considering that you need to buy the two four-inch screwdrivers individually, is going to set you back $13 to $15. We'll just call it $15 for a 10-piece set. And so, really, uh, after going through this review, I think they're kind of balanced. Ultimately, I just like the way these are more rounded in the multiple different materials. They are just more comfortable in the hand. Although this is more comprehensive, especially if you like to use slot heads as pry bars with the big square shanks, these quins are going to be great in those real tough situations. So it's really, you got to choose for yourself. You know, you want to spend a few more bucks and get um, a few uh, additional large and small size screwdrivers, or do you just do ne more general projects and get that kind of thing where you don't need large flat heads or number three Phillips? In that case, I'd definitely go for the Pittsburgh Pro. Really, the best bet would be to get the whole Pittsburgh Pro sets, and then hope. And then, if Harbor Freight ever would sell individuals, it would be just to buy some of the individual Quins to help fill out the Pittsburgh Pro set. In an optimal world, that's what I would think I would recommend. Otherwise, it's really up to you. And I think I'm going to end the review now. It's been a long review, but I did want to provide some good detail about Harbor Freight's two best sets of screwdrivers. And I really hope everybody watching. Uh, well, please subscribe to the Caddis Maximus channel and support the Caddis Maximus channel. And I also really appreciate everybody who has subscribed and is supporting the Caddis Maximus channel. Thank you. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.